My name's Keith Kelsey and I'm here interviewing Earl Ferris. Him and his dad uh, helped build the uh, lighthouse radio beacon or tower on top of the hill in the uh, 1930s. So I'm just kind of interviewing Earl here, trying to get some history down. And uh, Earl, when, uh, how did you, how were you contacted uh, by the Coast Guard to, uh, for the job of, of building this tower? Well, at that time, Mr. Moorfield was in charge of the lighthouse, the operation, and uh, he contacted my dad for putting the tower in on the hill there, my dad took the job. So in order to uh, get the tower on the hill, we had to make a road from the top. Came off the top of the hill with an old 30 caterpillar. How, big road plow. How did you get this caterpillar out to the lighthouse from Avila Beach? We uh, came through the Murray Ranch. Mr. Murray showed my dad the best way to get to the point he wanted to start off the hill to the lighthouse. He showed him the best trail to take to get the caterpillar over there. And uh, how how was the sections of the barge hauled in? Were they uh, they came to the Coast Guard. Uh, was barge or what? The Coast Guard hauled the tower in on the Coast Guard ship to the lighthouse pier. They unloaded it there. We loaded it on a little four wheel cart that had the lighthouse here. And we pulled it up there with a caterpillar up on the hill where it's mounted today. And how was it that you made the, got the road uh, up to the tower? You said, well, I heard you say that you had troubles keeping the uh, caterpillar on the side of the hill. It kept sliding off. We had, uh, we came off the top of the hill with the caterpillar. We had a big road plow tied behind the caterpillar, made a furrow, deep furrow. That way we could hang the track of the caterpillar in it, but it would slide sideways down the hill. <laughs> so we would taken a V scraper and went back and forth. We kind of knocked out a road there for the caterpillar. And the, and the wagon we had. And that's the way we hauled the tower, the cement, the water, the whole work up there that the tower sits on. And uh, so you're just you, you and your dad were the only people that worked on this, right? Yeah, we were the only people that worked on it. Who was the person that was in charge of the Coast Guard uh, station back then in the 1937? It was Mr. Morfield. I don't remember his first name right now. Mr. Morfield was in charge of the lighthouse. He had two other Coast Guardsmen working under him most of the time. And uh, how many families lived out at the lighthouse back then? There were uh, three families lived there. Do you remember the names time. of the families at no, all? No, I really don't. I don't remember. It's been a long time. And this is before the uh, lighthouse road was put in, right? Yes, this was before the lighthouse road even thought about being put in, I guess. Only way you could get to the lighthouse, they had a trail came around to the edge of the hill facing Port St. Louis there or else ride the boat over. That's the only way you could get the lighthouse at that time. The tractor that we used to do this was a 30 model. It had the gas tank mounted up on the top of the tractor and its gravity flow. Every time we'd come down the hill before we went back up we'd have to fill a gas tank up. Otherwise, you'd never make it up the hill. And uh, what about, uh, uh, what, what was the reason you had to fill a gas tank up? Well, the, the tank was gravity flow, and the tank had to be clear full. Otherwise, you wouldn't have enough gas. It wouldn't run into the carburetor. That's the uh, reason you had to fill it up every time you got down the bottom of the hill. <clears throat> So I hear you had a little trouble with uh, uh, tracks or something yeah, coming off, I huh? Broke a idler spindle that kept the track tight, and the track went off up on the side hill there one day. Couldn't get the tractor nowhere level to put the track on, so I just had to fight it around there with jacks and whatnot to we'll drive back on on the side hill there. Quite a chore. Yeah. Is there anything else you can tell us? Uh, the columns up there in the tower, the footings that you built, uh, I guess they're concrete? Yeah, the footings the tower sits on, it's a three-legged tower, and the uh, footings that sit on are eight feet deep, made out of cement. So I don't think it'll turn over anything. Okay, thanks.
These little shots of the old breakwater at Whalers Island. This is the uh, foundation of the old Coast Guard crew that was tore out.